It feels incredibly surreal to step into the Star Trek universe. It's stepping into a legacy. Star Trek has been with us for 50 years, and it's our responsibility to keep it exciting. Two to transport. We needed to maintain the core of what Trek has always been about, and yet the scope and scale needed to expand so far beyond anything that had been in television before. Captain, warp signatures detected. Contact Starfleet Command. Tell them we have engaged the Klingons. Star Trek Discovery takes place 10 years before the original show with Kirk and Spock. There's all of these opportunities to reveal things to fans. It lays the groundwork for a lot of the mythology. Ambassador Sarek, it is good to see you again. What have you done out there on the edge of Federation space? It's storytelling and Shakespearean proportions. So many people who've been contributing their talents behind the scenes or in front of the camera. They are fans of the show. They are fans of the franchise. Their love and knowledge and enthusiasm is so invigorating. You just get lost in it. We have practical sets which are startling. It's art. It's magic. It's incredible what the production people have done. Like. It's a beautiful, beautiful space, and it helps you when you're acting. My people were biologically determined to sense the coming of death. I sense it coming now. Most science fiction speaks to our fears. I've always loved Star Trek because it talks about who we aspire to be. Not just individually, but who do we want to be as human beings. At its core, it's really about cultures coming together, rising above differences, and achieving real peace. Starfleet will be challenged with their internal sense of what is right and what is wrong. Not all is as it seems. Discovery is a completely new way of telling a Star Trek story in a way that you might not expect. You should watch carefully. <laughs> Starfleet doesn't fire first. I'm trying to save you. I'm trying to save all of you.